as the two front struts. It's uh, too hot for me up nowadays, guys, so I guess I'm going to have to get used to me uh, haircut, aren't I? Yeah, look, guys, me uh, clock is lost half the digits. At least my horn still works. Put me Atari down here. I've got another one upstairs. Yeah, so I'm going to blame you guys for that one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go and get the bumper. I hope I don't make a tit to myself. Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Dave. This is just going to be a short video. <laughs> I always say that on the end of being half an hour long. Hopefully it's going to be a short video. Just a quick catch up on the Fiesta. It's still far from ready. And uh, something I've always wanted to do that I've liked. Where's my thumb there? See this bonnet pin here. Making the front bumper quick release. Just while the car's in bits and that. Like I say, it's something that I've... Uh, always liked. I'll spin around in a minute and show you that, show you a couple of other bits. Yes, I've just lifted this wing back on in place. It's uh, not bolted on, but the curls are lined up with where I drilled the uh, spot welds out, purely because behind here there's a little stay that the bumper sits on and I want my uh, pin in the, at the right height. I'll show you in a minute, guys. Uh, these are always only cable tied on. I did get the rubber bands with them. I've got some in my shed, but they tend to, I don't know the word I'm looking for. They tend to deteriorate and they've not snapped as such, but they go all cracked on that. So I choose to use cable ties. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, pull that off in a minute. Put the, I've got these off eBay. I think they're about 4 99 If I remember, I will leave a link in the description below, but I'm sure you can soon find some bonnet pins on eBay. Like you can see, I've already put the outer on, I riveted them in. The rivets came uh, in the pack. You also got some small screws, but I chose to use the rivets. I've not done this on video, obviously. The only problem I had was getting the end of the rivet gun in there because the end wouldn't go in. Obviously, you need the end of the gun to push tight on the rivets as you squeezing the rivet tight so i just put three small washers in there and then pushed the end of the rivet gun on there and that worked uh, sorry i can't show you that i didn't think of doing the video um yeah again when i take the bumper off i'll show you i've just made these two little plates you'll see why in a second so uh, i'll just quickly go around the car and show you sort of what i've done I'll get muddled up into what i put in previous videos now i don't think you can see down there i can see on the camera there's a this is made out of mild steel. If you were uh, check my other videos, um, there's a video where I made this. Just a small bit of paint flaked off down there, about the size of a fingernail. So I put a bit of rust treatment on there. Like I say, uh, the camera isn't going down there. I'll uh, put a little bit of red paint on there. Um, I don't think I've shown you this on the channel yet. Like I say, I'm getting muddled up, so if I'm showing you something I've already shown you, sorry guys. We've gone and uh, taken the door strips off. We've got um, brand new wings for both sides. I've got one in the boot for this side. I've ordered one for the passenger side. I don't want the strips on. The indicators will be flush. Take this off. Well, there won't be one of them on the new wing, but the indicators will be flush then, going with ambers. And uh, I've gone for some more rust effect. This is genuine rust with a couple of coats of matte lacquer. I've got a bit more of the red oxide paint. Same on the other side. Don't worry about that. It's solid behind there. We'll, we'll put a new arches on anyway. Um, so that'll get sorted. This rust, all this, is rust paint. So uh, we've gone with genuine rust here and uh, lacquer. And just around the back of the car, I don't think I've shown you this on the channel neither. I've shown you the bottom arms I did up. There's the two front struts. Um, I think I did mention that I was going to give the springs a coat of blue paint because these were black and these were blue. I've, I've painted the lot and I've painted the bottom, although it's looking a bit dusty now, with the chassis black. Just to tidy it up a bit, guys. Oh, and... Uh, now, this might be on the channel, I can't remember. Honestly, honestly, I can't remember. I think there's maybe a quick sort of photo clip on the previous video. The cat's in place now, ready for the MOT, which like I say, we're far from ready. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll crack on and get the bumper off. 
yeah so uh, we just snip these either side because nothing else let me just uh, check if you can see <laughs> zoom you out of it guys because uh, nothing else is connected at the moment i'm going to have to adjust here it's gonna keep checking yes <laughs> sorry guys just checking the camera i'm gonna have to adjust here because i will have the toe strap on i want it to fit through without having to take it off um i am keeping the fog lights and i do have side lights in the fog lights but they just quick release plugs behind and the other thing is this, but you'll see in a second that it's not on at the moment, but that'll just slide off. I'll show you in a second, guys. So now this will just pull off. Just uh, bring me back into this one, guys. So uh, that's why I've got these two plates for this little... Uh, recess here yeah this is the can we see again guys yeah this is the cold air feed it just goes up there to the filter this just slides on to the uh, outlet in the back of the bumper I'll show you yeah guys it just slots onto there I have quick release plugs the fog light plugs in there these are for the side lights. I'll probably file that flat, but I had to drill out because it's obviously double skinned. That's where the back of the bonnet pins goes. And uh, I wanted them, that's where I wanted them next to the number plate. So that's why I'm welding these little plates in because that's where they go through to. If I'd gone further along, I could have gone into either side of there obviously I couldn't go this way because the number plate I didn't want to go over me rat the logo that I painted on so I wanted them there anyway right next to the plate so uh, like I say that's why we're making these yeah guys and uh, this is the reason I just uh, lifted this wing back on because the top of the bumper slides up behind there otherwise it was dropping too low and I could have ended up with the bonnet pin at this side at the wrong height Right guys, I'm just uh, tacking those on because I need to mark where the hole is, drill the hole. We've got uh, two of these. I'm going to weld one nut on the back captive, screw it in, and then I can tighten this one up once it's the right length. So this needs to come back off just yet. The reason I struggled with that weld, I don't think I've cleaned enough paint off. Right guys, as you can see, I've lifted the bumper back on. Got a... 6.5 drill bit have some cheap ones look they're a bit shit to be honest depends what you're drilling and i've got some this one's a dharma one bought a few dharma ones from um roof of auto jumble and uh yeah they are actually quite good i've seen them on ebay and obviously they're a lot more expensive but then that's the old saying is you get what you pay for isn't it right i've just put the uh just gonna just put the drill bit in because i have to reach all the way through here and what I'm going to do is drill, try and keep the drill central and just mark both of them. Want it central for where this is going to go, obviously. So we'll just, just put it in so that hopefully it reaches. I'll see if it reaches before I start drilling. Oh yeah, it reaches there, guys. So, right, bear with me. Hopefully, we will just be able to mark. 
it looks like it's in the center of where the pin's going to come out to me i'm just hoping that i've kept it straight as it's gone through i suppose time will tell <laughs> hopefully that has marked again we'll find out in a few seconds won't we guys That's worked as long as it's in the as long as it's in the correct place <laughs> they look pretty equal at both sides anyway so we'll put the drill bit in properly now don't want to snap me expensive Dharma drill bit do I guys And my welding didn't fall off. <laughs> this one will now, won't it? All right, guys. So I've gone through with a nine mil. I've got a uh, one of my chocolate thirteen mil drill bits here, so this uh, probably won't work. And I'm being serious. These are shit. So we might have to open it up with uh, one of these, I don't know what you call them, like a, I don't know, Dremel type thing. Ah, what do you call them? <laughs> no, this is, it is. I've got a feeling it's going to snap me a little spot weld off. <laughs> and, uh, my weld's held in place and we've got the drill bit through, so now I look like a liar. And there we go, it fits. Now the only problem is, guys, I don't know if you zoomed too far away, but I'll, uh, I'll zoom down in a second and show you. The holes at the bottom, right next to where I'm going to weld. So because the nut has to be welded on the back, I'm just going to have to just cut a little groove out. I'll show you guys, I'll show you. You'll see what I mean when I've done it. Yeah, guys, so I've pulled that off. I've uh, bolted this on with the nut on the back. See what I mean? It's right at the bottom on the edge. So it will foul on here. So I'll just uh, grind a bit out of there. It's like that. It's uh, too hot for me to up nowadays, guys, so I um, guess I'm going to have to get used to me uh, haircut, aren't I? <laughs> right, guys, we've got the nut tacked on the back of there. Just going to give the back, before I weld it on, a quick coat with cure rust and a quick coat of satin black. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this does any good, but it's better than nothing, isn't it, guys? Just a quick brush over with this. I think uh, everything rusts eventually, doesn't it? <laughs> well, steel, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, put the connected the battery back up yesterday on the Fiesta. Not been connected for a couple of months just to check the fuel pump still came on and you know stuff like that did actually start the car started second time it sort of did a bit of a pop and a split the first time um but i only had to do it for a couple of seconds because the drive shafts are hanging out at the end of the gearbox um with no hubs and that on didn't want them to fall out yeah so it started but my flaming clock my digital clock that tells us the time is the lost some of its uh, digit. I don't know what's happened there. Where's my heat gun?
Yeah, look guys, me uh, clock, it's lost half the digits. See that top on there flashing on and off, because the seconds are flashing. I took it to bits, quite simple to take to bits. There's a rubber strip that connects the screen to the circuit board, and uh, I suppose it's quite a simple setup in that respect. Cleaned everything with alcohol, and uh, yeah, no good, so I ordered another one off eBay. Yeah, I don't know, that's rather strange. Not been connected for a couple of months and decided not to work. Oh well. At least my arm still works. Right guys, while that dries, come with me. Got something to show you. I love showing you my retro stuff. I don't know if you like seeing it or not. I know one subscriber has uh, told me I like stuff like this. Thank you. As I said, I'm no good with names. But you'll know who you are. <laughs> not those guys. You've seen those? Have you seen the torches? I can't remember. You know, I can't remember what I put on my videos. I've got a few videos now. You've seen the roller skates in the last video, which uh, down there, you've seen the Rally Grifter. The ones of you that have followed me for a while, been subscribed for a while, will have seen the Rally Bomber because that has been on a previous video. Put me Atari down here. I've got another one upstairs that I play on. This one uh, has got itself a little shelf here with the Pac-Man and Asteroids boxes in a frame behind there. Look, there's the uh, retro Rubik's Snake. Yeah, <laughs> love my retro stuff. I've got more stuff to add in uh, in this little man cave of mine. Yeah, what do you reckon, guys? The Rally Bomber, like I say, has been on our channel before. I will get it out again at some point uh, in the car yard and and do a walk around of it and a, a talk about it but it has been in a previous video that was to do with the queen the guardsmen there was some blokes on old mopeds riding around dressed up as the guardsmen and uh, i went out my rally bomber to film that so we uh, go and find that in my previous videos if you're interested let's see if this paint's dried yeah that's all good we'll uh, tack it back up there and see if this one lines up Oh yeah, don't know how long it needs to be guys, but this drill bit just touched, didn't it? We can adjust it, can't we? Alright guys, so far so good. I'm just gonna, this is wound all the way in now with the depth of the chassis box section. So I'm just going to have to wind it out chop a little bit off because it's I don't know if you can see or not guys it's just not quite lined lined up there it's just a little bit too long Yeah, guys, I'll just uh, chop 10 mil or so off this end. Yeah, guys, so I chopped about 10 mil off the back of this with my hacksaw in the shed in the vise. And uh, I'll bring you down here and show you. That's that one done. I just, just slightly pushed there to do it. I can adjust it further out, obviously, but I don't want the bumper rattling and loose neither. Um, yes, yeah, so sir, just this side to do, which... Uh, I'll crack on and do, and obviously I'm going to, I'll zoom you in and show you guys, and then I'll crack on with this side. 
Right there, you see, close up, guys. It's gone through nicely, and, and that folds over. Like I say, to pull the pin out, I do just sort of push my thumb there. So I'll quickly remove the bumper. We're just going to uh, weld around there. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And then I'll crack on with this side, which will be just a repeat of what I've done. Yeah, guys, so I'm just going to weld along there, down there, along there, and down there. Paint this with some black chassis paint. Repeat the process over there. Yeah, guys, so uh, since it's just a repeat of the process, what I've already done, I'll crack on with that. Catch up with you again in a couple of seconds. All right, guys, they're both on. As I always say, ignore my shit welding. I'll show you in a second uh, how quick <laughs> I can get the bumper on. It's not quick as in, uh, in that, it's just quick release. Anyway, which eagle-eyed viewers among you? Notice I did some of the welding with the battery connected because uh, I connected it to show you the clock. Yeah, so I'm going to blame you guys for that one. <laughs> the car does still start, everything's fine. Um, I disconnected it and continued, but I did do a little bit of welding with that connected. Yeah, guys, and uh, remember the stickers we have for sale. They're £2 if you see me or add a pound for postage in the UK. See the description below to see how to get those. I'll just uh, show you a sticker. Ignore the dust and dirt, but uh, there's the sticker, the Ratford one, obviously. Yes, yeah, so in a second, guys, we'll uh, put the bumper on to show you. I've still got this to file flat, which I probably will do. And give these areas a coat of paint with the chassis black. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've shown you. I have actually, although I've not welded up the peepholes. The plates and the nuts are tacked in both sides with a coat of chassis black as well. I did that previously, not today. Three, two, one. Let's go and get the bumper. It does still have the locating bolts on the back, guys. If they rattle around, I'll chop them off. Let's uh, hope I don't make a titter myself. It's just a case of lining everything up. I've had this on a couple of times, obviously. As I've been fitting the pins. Remember the cable ties will be around uh, both ends and that's quite sturdy. Right guys, that's it for this one. If you do enjoy our videos, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. If you do like them, please remember to hit the like button as that helps us to get the channel to grow. Please remember to subscribe, see new videos coming in and take a look at our previous videos. It might be something you're interested in. Please remember to comment and share and thank you for watching. Until next time, catch you later. Mm -hmm.